Welcome to DesignSpark, the home of DesignSpark PCB, free award-winning electronics design software. User interface. As normal, we have a menu bar and each heading opens to show the menu options. Below the menu bar, we have the toolbars and these can also go down the side. These toolbars are shown in their normal dot position, but by hovering the mouse over the dotted line, you can click and drag onto the desktop and have a floating toolbar. To return the floating toolbar to its dot position, simply double click on the heading. Until you become familiar using DesignSpark PCB, I suggest you leave all of the toolbars in their normal dot positions. I shall now open an existing project and show some of the features in more detail. I have now opened a project file. In this project we have five schematic sheets and a PCB. For this tutorial I will open one of the schematic sheets and also the PCB. When working on your design simply click on the tab required. So PCB and schematic you will notice that as we select the project schematic or PCB tab that the menu bar and toolbars change. This is the context sensitive feature and only features and commands relevant to your current task are enabled. Selecting the schematic tab and examining the toolbar, the first useful feature we notice is the tooltip displayed as we hover over the button. Also, if there is a shortcut defined, this is also shown. For example, add component and F3, add text and T. Similarly, we have an appropriate range of tools for the PCB. The toolbar across the top has the high level functions. For example, new, open, save and close related to the design the library manager, plus visual features such as zoom in and zoom out, zoom all, screen grids, and the usual selection of editing functions, copy, cut, paste, etc. Before examining a few essential commands, we will look at the help menu on the menu bar. Firstly, in the list is help contents. This is a comprehensive help file which you should visit for a written overview or understanding of a command. There is also context sensitive help available and pressing F1 will bring up help for your current design step. For example, in the schematic, select add component, press F1 for immediate assistance and a list of related help topics that you might need. Next in the menu, we have shortcuts. It is useful to print these out as a handy reference or keep them open on the Windows desktop for quick access. These are also context sensitive and different for schematic and PCB task. Here for the schematic, we can choose for the current document type, select OK, and we have a list of schematic shortcuts. Next we have the tutorials. These are a useful introduction and reference guide for using DesignSpark PCB. We have tutorials on design, library creation and importing Eagle files. Before we examine a few of the commands in more detail, there are two other desktop features to be aware of. The interaction bar. Press F9 to enable. This has tabs along the bottom which will be discussed in future tutorials. But for more complex designs, Go To is a very useful feature. Select the Go To tab, and to find a component, e.g., where is C22, and it changes colour in the schematic and flashes. 
And where is C22 on the PCB? Selecting the PCB tab, finding C22 again, clicking, and there it is, flashing and changing colour next to X1. Another useful function is the Add Component tab, which provides an alternative to using the Add Component button on the toolbar. We now come to one of the most useful and powerful new features which was added from version 4, Model Source. Model Source is an online database of free engineering models from RS. It is described online at the DesignSpark webpage, but we will have a quick look now. Model Source is accessed by the bar across the bottom of the DesignSpark PCB desktop. If you cannot see it, go to View on the menu bar and click the Model Source bar. My preference is to use Model Source undot and enlarged. Right click the title bar, untick auto hide, right click the title bar and select floating. The view can now be scaled to display many more results. Now work your way through the selection bars. Here we choose semiconductors, amplifiers and comparators. Let's go down to operational amplifiers. The results table is then populated. You can now sort by the various options, e.g. mounting type through hull. All the components shown in bold are available directly to DesignSpark PCB. Select one and click load preview to see the schematic and PCB symbol. Please see other tutorials on how to use model source for a complete description. Before starting your designs, we will discuss a few essential and useful features. Cancelling a command. Wherever you are, in a dialogue or command, simply press the escape key to exit up a level until you are out of that command. Now, some settings. Units. So from the menu bar, settings, units. DesignSpark PCB supports five different units. Centimeters, inches, mil, millimeters, and thou. You can use whichever units you require and indeed switch between them according to the technical requirements. Two recommended settings are thou with a position of one or millimeter with a position of three. Here we have thou and a position of one. Grids. Again from the settings menu. The working grid is used to define the component placement and the snap mode allows the ease of placement and alignment. For compatibility with model source components, a step size of 50 thou and a snap mode of half grid is recommended. The screen grid, which is the visible grid, is usually made the same as the working grid for ease of use. Shortcut menus. The right hand mouse click on a selected item displays all of the relevant commands. This is a powerful feature in DesignSpark PCB and once you are familiar with the options it enables fast and easy command execution. Near the bottom of the list is properties which can also be accessed using Alt Enter. Properties contains a comprehensive list of all the properties of the selected item, some of which can be edited and is a useful reference. And finally, at the bottom of the DesignSpark PCB desktop, we have the status bar. This displays real-time information, the properties of the selected item, units, mouse coordinates, relative or absolute coordinates and more. In closing this video, please remember to visit the help menu on the menu bar for a comprehensive help file, tutorial, shortcut keys, online help via the web page and support items. Thank you. Brought to you by RS and Allied Electronics.